Hey Phantom Squad, this is Phantom Celebi, and I am playing Introvert Quest. Um, I've had this game in my Steam library for a while, and I don't know what it is. I got it as a freebie on something, and I was just like, might as well try it. <laughs> okay, let's check see here. New game. My vibrator is going off. Ah, the horror. I should get up. Prologue Tuesday, nine AM. Sigh. Why did I set my alarm clock this early? What a poopy day. God. My lapis lazuli hair is just exciting me way too much. Um, okay. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what's on TV. I, I just don't walk. You are watching Sky City News! This week, Sky City is hosting a medieval festival. Be sure to visit it at the end of this week. Or not at all. I'm condescending. In other news, a protest against Sky City Mayor El Ben El Benditos. Why would someone name Okay, against Okay, so the mayor's name is El Banditos. Why 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 would you name yourself that? Has been and then I, I get cut off by my phone. Is Do I have a girlfriend? Probably not. Ugh, whatever. Okay, okay. You're just getting in the way of my lapis lazuli hair. Hello? Where the hell were you yesterday? Ugh. Dr. Eisner... I don't know how to say that name. I just... Get your booty... Get off your booty and come... <laughs> oh god, what the hell happened to his voice? Get off your booty and come to my office. We have a s s we have a session today about that. Ugh, my life is just so complicated. I won't accept any excuses. My schedule is open today. Come to my office. A S A P. Oh, what a hard booty. Booty. <laughs> I should have given him a piece of my mind. Ugh. Who am I kidding? I should get ready to. That's my dumb phone in real life. I should get ready and go to see him. God, my life is so hard. Ugh. I am a sock. <laughs> oh god. I'll have to hurry. I'll have to hurry if I plan to get there on time. Ugh. That's why I wanted to get up early. 
Cause I have responsibilities, oh my god. I'm totally not ready to face the real world. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having too much fun with this. Hey, I like this music. Okay. This music's a little loud for me, but hey. It's cool. Oh, poopy. It's Mr. Kowalski. I better hurry to the subway before he notices me. Don't notice me, senpai! Don't notice me! Phew. I eluded him for now. I can't deal with his nonsense today. Hopefully, I don't bump into anyone else who knows me. Ugh! Taking the subway is the fastest way to get to Eisner's office. Every other method is just uh, risking it. Oh, poopy. I hope there, there won't be a huge crowd in the subway. Woe is me! Anyway. The subway station should be straight ahead. This is the sub- This is the suburb metro station. Excuse me, uh, I'm gonna lower this a little. Anyway. This is the subur suburb metro station. Some people claim the place is boi is the boiling point of the rat infested the rat infestation that has been plaguing Sky City. I'm just gonna walk around and hope nobody notices me. Where the heck? Is the train? Could I help you stop your tantrums, young man? No, wait. Could you please stop with your tantrums, young man? Ugh. I'm so sorry, madam. I, I, I don't mean to. You. Not. But, but, I'm not, I'm on my way to an important meeting. Do you really think all these here? Do you really think all these here aren't in a hurry? If the train is late, you won't be the only one in trouble! Right. So, when is the train coming? It should be here in a minute, young man! There's no need to be antsy! Ugh, this old woman and her stupid voice. Sounds like that doctor guy that I'm supposed to see. Ugh. There must be something wrong with this woman. She's acting so. She's acting way too friendly. Shut your face, or I will make you shut it! Well, it's like I'm back into New York again. Ugh. 
stand clear for the closing doors. Well, I like his hair. Did you watch the news? Oh god, that orange guy is kind of hot too. Why? What happened? You know, that vigilant Kabuki-mon? Kabuki-man? Kabuki-man! Apparently, he stopped another robbery. Wow! That's gr that guy is really something else. And to think, that could be anyone in this city. Ah. Yeah, even that weirdo standing through, sta <laughs> staring through the window. Ah, yeah, right. Why does everyone think I'm weird? But Kabuki Man is awesome. It would be um, so amazing to see him in action. Oh my god. Or even better. To become like him, protect the innocent, and fight against crime. Those two idiots by the door it would be the first on my list, though. Next stop, Sky City. Or Sky Avenue. Sky! We're going to the sky. This is my stop. Unfortunately, Eisner's office is right next to the subway exit. Ugh. Oh my god, people. Better go the other way. <laughs> I gotta think of a funny voice for her. The next patient should be arriving soon. After that, we are calling it a day. Oh my god, her voice is like, ugh. Notice me, please. And for tomorrow, the first appointment is eight. Whoa! You scared the poop out of me. How long have you been standing there, Bryce? Uh, s sorry. It seemed like you were busy. Ugh. I don't want to disturb you. Anne Rubenstein, doctor of daughter of Carl. Why do they have a different last name? H how? Okay, maybe this will be explained throughout the thing. Anne Rubenstein, daughter of Dr. Carl Eisner, also psychiatrist in training. Okay, she's married. Okay, that's why. Happily married with two. Is that children misspelled? Okay. With two children. Good friend of Natalie Han, sister of Bryce. Han, blood type, AB positive. I don't know what her blood type has anything to do with this story, but hey, let's just keep going with this. 
No problem. But next time, just say something. Don't just hover like a ghost. If only it was that easy. Ugh. I'll give it my best, I promise. So, your doc- So, Dr. Eisner called me. Uh, I don't even want to be here. He sounds pretty angry. Of course he is! Angry, angry. You skipped your last five appointments. He is with a patient now, though. He should see you shortly. I gotta give her a different voice. This is hurting me. Uh, okay. Only my bedroom can see my beautiful lapis lazuli hair. Dot dot dot. So, Bryce! I think this one's actually gonna be easier. So, Bryce! What's going on with you? Are you making any progress? As a matter of fact, I am. That's the reason why I wasn't able to come in for the session. Lie? Stay silent. Um... It's one of those type of games. Um, I would say stay silent. Because if you don't lie, you can't get caught in a lie. <laughs> dot dot dot. I can't tell her that I... Spend my entire week playing video games. Too relatable, dude. Too relatable. Don't worry! No, now she's got the other dude's voice. I forgot what I gave her as a voice. Screw it, she'll have the other dude's voice too. Don't worry! Everything will be all... Be all... Wait. Why is the Burger King going here? This is not a proper way to speak to a king. I am never coming back. Where is my squire? I'm guessing this dude's crazy. Okay. The Burger King goes to the same doctor's office, I'm guessing? I'm... like... It's perplexing. Well, just... Pretend you didn't see anything. I think Dr... Why, why does she refer to her father as his name? I mean, I guess it's because it's work, but it's still weird. I think Dr. Eisner is ready to see you now. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Till tomorrow, Bryce. Bye, Anne. Ugh. Wait. What? Why did she say tomorrow? Bryce? Nice to see you again. Please come in. Come in, please. I've been eager to talk to you. <laughs> Hi, Doctor. Nice to see you, too. Abraham Eisner, self-proclaimed genius psychologist, that was good friends with Bryce Han's father. Would you kindly explain to me why you missed our previous sessions? 
Uh, well... I had a couple of... Big... Th Cut the poopy, Bryce! You didn't come here because you were sitting... You didn't come here because you were sitting at home watching TV and eating junk food! You are wasting away your youth! Think about what your father would say. Ugh, why'd you have to bring him up? Come on, wake up! Fix that whiny face of yours or and man up! What's his problem today? Now take a seat and we can start. If you don't mind, Doctor, I would rather stand. I know, it's because we don't have good sitting animations. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna stop there. Uh. As you wish, Bryce. You have been coming to these sessions for almost a year now. Nine months, exact. Actually, um. And yet, you didn't achieve anything! You've. Your fear of the city and other people is still present, and I'm afraid that I don't know. I'm afraid that if we don't take drastic measures, it will become worse. It's not my fault. Every time I leave my house, something bad happens. Cars are going too fast. People are acting strange. She's acting strange. <laughs> Is he related to Senpai? He just thinks social interactions are strange. And someone is always starting staring at me. I'm kind of wondering why. Yeah, this guy's Senpai. <laughs> Are you finished? Dot 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 blinks a little. Yes. The thing is, Bryce, most people are good at in inside. You just need to find a, that spark in you. You just need to find that spark in them. Narrator, you suck at speaking as me. And I won't even make a comment about that fast cars nonsense. Cars are made to be driven fast. Ugh, another angry driver, I see. <laughs> Tell me, how long do you plan to live? To live. Oh, I, I guess that was supposed to be off. How long do you plan to live off your. the money your mother sends. Okay, so his mom's living abroad and he doesn't socialize. I'm kind of thinking he is Senpai. Your entire life? No, sir. And when she's gone, do you plan on leeching off your siblings? No, sir. Good. 
Then there is only one thing left to do. Get a job. I propose a high intensity therapy session. What do you have in mind, doctor? Four days of intense therapy. On the first day, you will clean up, clean your place, and go find some company. Get a pet or something. All right. As a matter of fact, I've always wanted a cat, but my mom was allergic. Also, start going to convenient, the convenience store like a normal person. Ordering groceries online is forbidden from now on. Well, that's not cool. I mean, some people just like doing the online thing. Not every person likes going shopping in person. But then again, I guess this guy really needs social interaction. After you do that, take a walk around town and introduce yourself to strangers. Try to make friends or at least a an acquaintance. Seriously. And stop being a sock. Ugh. How does one do that? Go to the park, Mayor El Banditos. God, that mayor's name. That mayor's name is ridiculous. Mayor El Banditos recently built a new fountain there. Why, why is this guy senpai? Why is this guy senpai? He's sending this guy to go sit at the park and look at the fountain. And he's introverted, and he thinks people are staring at him. He's senpai! Or is it all introverts act like senpai? I don't know. It's a sight to behold. Attracts many visitors. It's especially nice during sunset. The park or the fountain, I'm kind of confused. Maybe I, like, I was too busy ranting about the fountain thing. This sounds like a lot of trouble. Uh, I should try to make an excuse. <laughs> okay, so a trip to Morocco. Drafted into the army? There's no war, though. I don't think so, anyway. He needs an urgent medical procedure. The other two kinda sound ridiculous and the last one kinda seems plausible. You see, Dr. Eisner, next three days is really not really good for me. I have to... Don't interrupt me! Sorry, Doctor. This will be one hell of a week, Bryce! But you can... You can't stay sh shut in forever! You will get a job! I've already contacted some potential employers! They will see you on Friday. And I expect you to do something in the community. Help a citizen in need. Make someone smile. Do a good deed. Oh my god, I have to deal with people. There'll be other activities, but uh, we will deal with them along the way. Is there a problem, Bryce? I don't think I can do that. Do it, doctor. The city's too big and hostile. 
people are unfriendly. I will get crushed. Don't worry, my boy. My boy! <laughs> okay, yeah, that, that meme is dead. Like my channel, for the most part. Nobody watches this channel. Yay! <laughs> okay. Don't worry, my boy. I have absolute faith in you. Your family has absolute faith in you. After each day, after each day, you will come back with a report, with your report, uh, progress report. Okay. I promise you, I will get you through this. And if you need anything, feel free to stop by any time. Alright, Doctor. I will try my best. Or... Do... Or do not... Do. There is no try. Did he just quote my favorite movie? Oh my god, I, just, I think I got a boner. My dangly bits. Ugh. I'm sure you'll be fine. Remember your favorite, your father's words. Don't yank it in public. Okay, I will make both of you proud, Doc. Now we go have some rest, Bryce. You have a long week ahead of you. I will see you later. Would you like to save the game? I figured this is where I'll leave this. If you enjoyed this, like, comment, and subscribe for more spastastic content. Also, follow me on Twitter at Phantom Celebi. And I love you guys. Stay awesome. Bye-bye. And mwah! see you later.